Right, tonight's video is going to be the follow-up to Tuesday, where we looked at the provocation of Columba Strata, and we're going to look at the counters to those things. So, just to make this a bit simple, I'm going to show the provocation first, and then we're going to look at the response to each one of them. Uh, the first one's very complex, because there's up to five different possibilities, uh, all of which we've already seen, but there's a lot kind of going on here. So the first one is, we are in Kulum Strata, we do a punt reverse in the face. If they defend by raising their hand with the true edge, we're going to help them out, bring the point underneath, and thrust to the chest. Now, if they seem a bit counterintuitive to defend this way, but it actually makes the next action, which is an outside slip, very easy to do because there's no chance that these will get in the way of each other. So again, we defend the kind of just driving up and stepping around, hitting with a reversal to the right side of the neck. Second alternative is when we attack, they're going to defend using the false edge, preventing us from continuing on the high outside. That's okay. They're going to, the agent's going to attack with a rivera so to the thigh, and then step out with that stoccata. If we have done that, as the defender, and they come to leg, we're just going to bring the right foot back and cut a reverso to their right arm, hitting on top. Uh, the next bit, there is some uh, interpretation here because he actually omits a play or two, or a concept or two that we've already seen. So it may be on purpose, it may be on accident. But in any case, we have three kind of things going on here, all stemming from the basic defense, or the basic provocation, punta reversa, head guard, and tondo to the left side of the head. So, if that we are telling our partner that's what's coming, we can turn this into a feint, and then throw a reverso to the head, just like we saw in the Mezzaspada section, and then we get out. And that could be high. That could be low, going to the thigh in this case. As the person responding, I'm going to defend, defend, haven't put our feet yet, when the, it's a high reverso, Transition to entry and thrust to the face or chest. And just like the second option, it goes low. We attack with a cut from above. Option two is we are going to throw a stramazone to the inside of the uh, right arm, to the sword hand. When our partner comes in with us, we're simply going to uh, transition to Iron Gate. So that's going to take the out of the way and also put us in a great position to follow up with Thruster Club next. So we're here. Strauss when it comes to the, to, the, to the hand, we're simply going to transition to Iron Gate. Third one is we're going to harass the left hand with a stoccata or a mandrito. I would do both of these with the left triangle because I'm not going for the body, I'm actually going for something, or something closer to me, so I don't need to step forward. I can just use the left triangle and extend and we will definitely reach it. So that could be this or it could be a cut. When we're on the receiving end of this, we want to raise the cloak up and attack the opening being the inside of the arm with a, our own mandrito, mezzo mandrito. Finally, our last one is a two-parter, and it, the underlying thing here, the idea here is that they have presented an opening at the center so we can attack or faint with a stoccata. So they've opened up. We bring it up, 
their response is to use the true edge. And we will do a simple uh, outside slip. You can also make that a little better by suppressing and kind of casting the cloak over their right arm. And so that's how I'm going to go to their right. If I'm going to their left, I have a second option where we cast and either thrust or cut, making sure I'm holding on to the cloak with my left hand. You don't want to throw it away. And let me get out. Now my response to either one of these is we're going to beat this thrust with the true edge. It's like a mezzo lambrito essentially. So this comes up, we're here. Regardless of what they do next, we're going to step back with the right foot and do a reverso to, uh, he specifically says, to their leg. So, one and two. And that's it. That's, it. that's all of the provocations and encounters from Kotalunga Strata with a sword and cloak.